Olivia, tell us what happened with bra gate. <laughs> oh my goodness. I, I was just getting comfortable and the, the wrong place to get comfortable at because the whole next day the entire town of Charleston knew about it. So just won't be doing that anymore. So no more, no, no hookups, just getting comfortable. No, because think about it, everyone found out about the bra the next day. Uh -huh. So if we hooked up, that would 100% be out there. If it was that much talk about a bra, that no no no, no. this is too small of a city to be doing anything spicy if you get what i'm saying <laughs> um i know that austin was really th there for you during a tough time what are your feelings about him now and have they changed over the course of the since you filmed uh the show they're always just such a roller coaster i think now like watching the episodes back so much is happening and like change just I'm learning a lot, it's eye-opening, and I just can't help but get frustrated when I see the conversations that are had when I'm not around. So I'd be lying if I said it didn't have an effect on our friendship now, but it just depends on the day with him. I mean, he gets on my every last nerves, but I also enjoy his company, so it's just, it's weird. When I spoke to Taylor, she said that the two of you weren't 100% yet. Do you still feel like that? Yeah. Mm -mm. You ever think you will be? That's probably the first accurate thing she said in a very long time. So you think you'll ever be 100% again? Um, I don't know. I mean, this BravoCon, I'm not talking to Taylor, and Madison's my good friend. So any weirder things have happened, you know? So.